Uh, so I skateboard, I snowboard, and I surf. Probably snowboarding would be my biggest right now in my life for sure. Snowboarding's just always been that thing, like it's just like super fun to do, like the whole the scene is super cool, like the guys who do it are so rad. Like it's, it's just been a super easy thing, I've just latched onto it, I've gotten jobs by doing it, it's just like, fuck, I don't know, I gotta think about this. No, you're good, you're right, good. Okay, okay, I just gotta collect myself real quick. What, mom? Okay, she called me, but fine. So... Fresh Kid Z, Fresh Kid C, yes, Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back! Oh, and Zafu, by the way. Yeah, Jones! <laughs> yeah. Chitty Bang! Pretty much amazing. Can we hear your new song, please? I got you. Hey yo, I once was a kid, all I had was a dream. More money, more problems. When I get it, I'ma pile it up. Now I'm dope, want the bread we can toast. So fresh, how we flow, everybody get this down. Hey, I once was a kid with the other little kids. Now I'm ripping up shows and them fans going wild with us. Tell mommy I'm sorry. This life is a party. I'm never growing up. I guess snowboarding, you're still kind of connected to the world. I think snowboarding is more of like, I like to think of snowboarding more as like an art, I guess. It's sort of like how you express yourself in the mountain, like the way you ride kind of like defines you, just like art sort of does. Like the way you like artistically create something is similar to snowboarding, I guess, in that way. It's just like some people ride park, some people just ride groomers, whatever. Whereas in art, some people paint, some people draw or whatever. It's all about you. You can express yourself. So I started skating probably when I was like 8 or 9, that was probably like my first thing and then that led to like snowboarding at like probably 11, I think was when I first started snowboarding. And then surfing was pretty recent, probably like 2 years ago. So like snowboarding's always been such a huge part of my life. When I moved to California I was super worried I wouldn't have it anymore, but it's definitely cool. Like it's a different kind of snowboarding out here and it's super fun. You snowboarded in Flagstaff, right? I did, and then New York too. How, so. how were those compared to California snowboarding? Blackstaff's interesting, it's kind of like, uh, super like, there's no local scene, it's very touristy, like, it's it's a lot like Big Bear and Mount High, because, I mean, in the way that Flagstaff is kind of like their Big Bear, it's just like where all the people from Phoenix, they just come up there to snowball and just ride, and they have a bunch of, like, weird situations going on with, like, snow making, like, the Native Americans are not stoked on the snowboarding on their land or whatever, but... I don't know, overall it's pretty good, like they try their best with what they can, the park sucks, the mountain's pretty sketchy, the lifts are like 80 years old, but you know, it's all snowboarding, it's just sick to be up there and just get that feeling. One thing just led to another, and I guess I, you know, started falling in love with the sport, I would build like little jumps in my backyard, we'd make like PVC rails out of like PVC pipes and 2x4s and they'd like fall apart and destroy your snowboard, it was super fun. I set up like lights and stuff in the backyard and the snowboard. And then I was finally into it after about like four years of that. I was just knew it was something I wanted to keep doing. So I think that's when I like really got into it. I would go like every day I could, go up underneath the lights at night after school. At what age did you start getting into the whole filming bit of snowboarding? Yeah, probably when I was like 12, I think. Like, I realized that, like, action sports and filming went hand in hand. Like, if you want to claim you're a good snowboarder, you better have filmed to back it up. Or if you want to claim you're a good skateboarder, you better have filmed. So we would just go out there with, like, these little, like, small, like, super, like, Sony handy cams or whatever that we would just, like, buy and just, like, destroy and film with those, film with those all day. So. Just destroy them? Yeah, pretty much. It was, like, whatever worked. It was cool. Because we could edit it and see ourselves and show our friends or whatever. Cause in New York, not a lot of people knew what it was about. Like even though it snowed, no one did it. Like no one snowboarded, so you would always have to film and show what was up. Look at my old videos and see like me in New York with like my sketchy little like Sony handy cam with the fish eye glued to the front of it, like the edits I was making with that. And you can see like my time in Flagstaff, I'm a little bit better with snowboarding. My edits are a little bit better. They're a little bit better produced. And they're like now I'm, I mean, I'm still not a great snowboarder. I try. Like I'm pretty impressed with some of the edits that I've done. I think I. Definitely put more time into it now, so I guess, yeah, it's just always been part of my life, so I've just sort of gotten better at it, luckily. Oh,
tripping like how you make it living I get the guitar like the black Bob Dylan Used to be a writer, now I freestyler And I'm so fly that I got free mileage California bread, California fed And there's nothing quite like some California head Man, life's a trip Been around the world but I ride What has been the worst injury in snowboarding for you? Snowboarding, I think when I fractured my lumbar, that was probably the heaviest one. Yeah, I uh, I bruised my ribs in the beginning of the season, and then in February I tore part of my rotator cuff, and I also had a muscle contusion on my shoulder. Yeah, I mean, I've had my, my own case of injuries, and uh, both of us have definitely endured some uh, powerful falls. Surfing was pretty recent, probably like two years ago. So, oh, okay. skateboarding was first, then snowboarding. Yeah, it's definitely a workout, but it also feels like it's almost like a way of like meditating. You can just get away, like you're not on land, you're out in the ocean, like just being at one with nature. It's like a super free thing, you can just, it's super expressive, so you can just kind of like release all your energy, it's just like a really mellow feeling. Like it's unlike anything in life where it's just like, it's not rigidly structured, you can just do whatever you want when you surf. For sure, it's definitely a good time whenever you're out there, you're just away and separated from the world. But you wanna you wanna land these tricks to get that sort of sense of uh, that sense of feeling, and you, you keep doing these tricks until you finally get that that feeling that you want. Definitely. Uh, so I think that it's definitely a adrenaline induced uh, sort of drug in its own way. Yeah. Um, would you say that this is a this is a good or bad? Uh, drug like can can it be can it have positives, but also tackle the negatives, or yeah. do the negatives sometimes tackle the positives? I would say it definitely depends on your personality. It depends on the kind of person you want to be. It depends on kind of like what you want to take away from the sport. So like, the adrenaline, like you're saying, is achieved through you know landing your trick or like succeeding in competition or whatever. But if you're the kind of guy who care less, who you're not really like trying to push yourself uncontrollably to get to a certain level in the sport that it, it doesn't really matter then it's all positive because like there's gonna be no negative effects because you're not really after anything you have no goal in the sport but I feel like once you get wrapped up in the whole idea of being the best snowboarder on the mountain or you know winning contests going to nationals being the best that you can be that's when it gets to be a negative thing where like this adrenaline is just pushing you to become someone who you aren't I guess you could say and it just turns you into like a monster basically like it ruins the fun of the sport like you can't ride with your friends anymore, you just have fun, all you want to do is just huck yourself off jumps and whatnot. And you know, with that comes injury or whatever. So I feel like to be successful in the sport you definitely have to balance, you know, the positives and the negatives. You have to be able to like 
control that adrenaline and just push yourself to be a good snowboarder, but at the same time you have to know when to quit and just, you know, relax and have fun. So that's what it's meant to be about. It's pretty much true. Like, I have to focus on what I'm doing or else I'm going to get hurt. And also it's just, like, so fun that it forces you to not think about anything else and just about, like, your next trick or just, like, even turning down the mountain. And that's, I think, that's, like, the best feeling. It's just really serene. Try it. It definitely pulls you away and yeah. it makes you want to do bigger things so that you can get an even bigger sense of that adrenaline rush. And uh, it can be dangerous, but it can also be very rewarding and relaxing in your life. It can definitely uh, cause a lot of injuries too, but I guess that's the risk that you're willing to take when you go out there and try new things. Back on 10th grade, my GPA was like a 2.7 <laughs> during like spring semester or whatever because of snowboarding. Like my attendance was pretty bad, so that's probably a downfall of the whole adrenaline thing. Like it's it honestly is just like a drug, I guess. Like snowboarding is a drug for sure, so is surfing because it just like it takes you away from society. You know, you're snowboarding, you're not worried about society. You're surfing, you're not worried about society either. So it just like takes you away from reality, and I feel that's what a drug does. So to say like action sports are a drug, it's a pretty accurate statement I guess because people just get so stoked on it that like they separate themselves from reality and just like become lost in it. Okay, uh, one last question and uh, it's not really a question, it's more of just uh, like a free response. Uh, what has been the best memory with you and Tyler snowboarding specifically? The best memory? Uh, the best memory was actually you were there but when we uh, or night shredding at Snow Summit and it was raining. That was like the most fun I could have on a snowboard. It was like I was, I felt good. I was landing my tricks and like with a good group of friends and it was just like a really good time. I don't know. It was like I said, it was like what I was saying earlier about being in the moment. That was like I wasn't thinking about anything else besides snowboarding. Something that you can't take back. Yeah. Yeah.